Greetings one, greetings all. I am Brian Polito, proud publisher of Coffin Comics, and today I am with the one and only Mike McLean. And we are here as co-writers of the storylines of Coffin Comics 2024 publishing schedule, which we are about to reveal to you right now. Are you ready? We have our clipboards, we have our right story right, we got some pages to show. But without further ado, let's announce, Mike, the theme, the company-wide theme for Coffin Comics 2024. And this is a storyline called, I can do it, Helligeddon. Helligeddon is our storyline for Lady Death's 30th anniversary. And we've been concocting this since, gosh, like late 2022, writing it. 2020, late 20, geez, even before then. Yeah, gotta go big if it's the 30th anniversary. So this is the 30th anniversary of Lady Death and it's time to bring it all back home. If you guys and gals out there were readers of Lady Death back in the day when she first premiered February 9th, 1994, that storyline was called The Reckoning. And this was about a girl named Hope renouncing her humanity to save her mother's soul from the devil in hell. Well, we have not seen the devil in a long time. And I think you could tell by the title, this dude might be coming back, I don't know. So, let's reveal to you some of the, all of the major storylines for next year. So here we are, February 2024, the 30th anniversary book. Jimmy Coffin glued these on really nice for me. <laughs> <laughs> the first storyline, laid up chapter 19 is demonic omens demonic omens mike would you mind uh so demonic omens is later chapter 19 the creative team is myself and mike mclean illustrated by diego bernard colored by cc de la cruz and lettered by veteran letterer marshall dillon and also let me give you a shout out all this cool new typeface was done in collaboration with marshall dillon we all had a like the time of our lives doing this coming up with hell again and the name all that stuff my accountability is the name. Then I work with Marshall on coming up with all the fonts. But uh, Mike is going to describe to you that story. So first of all, I'm just happy I can pronounce the name, Demonic <laughs> Omens. But all right. So the first shall bleed after the tragic conclusion of Imperial Requiem. Lady Death returns to our Earth to only discover two years have passed and unprecedented prosperity has spread across the globe. But soon, this piece is slashed to bloody pieces. A strange and savage cult emerges bent on chaos and destruction. Like a virus, its numbers multiply and disperse, burning everything in their wake. Now Lady Death must race against time and battle demonic forces to save a trusted friend from an unspeakable fate. Watching from the shadows, an old foe devises a nefarious plan to dominate the world and bring Lady Death to her knees. Welcome to Helgenin. And it's guest starring La Muerta, Hellwitch, Lady Satanus, and Chaotica. That's true. This is a company-wide event and we have balanced subplots of all of our characters. Don't get it twisted. Lady Death is in control. This is her anniversary and her story but our co-stars and allies and enemies will play important parts in this story. Next up in May, continuing the Helligeddon storyline is La Muerta, Lady Death, Inferno. This story is co-written by Mike McLean and myself, illustrated by TBD. Likely colored by C.C. De La Cruz and lettered by veteran letterer Marshall Dillon. Let me tell you this story which continues Helligeddon. Whenever Lady Death returns to Earth, devastation follows. This time, La Muerta vows to put an end to it. And she has just... And let me start that over. <laughs> Whenever Lady Death returns to Earth, devastation follows. This time, La Muerta vows to put an end to it, and she has just the bullet to do the job. That's right, it's Lady Death versus La Muerta. 
But if the street hardened vigilante wants to kill the diva of death, she'll have to get in line. While the demonic plague of possessed cultists spreads across the world, Lady Death races to uncover a wicked plot. But can she hack her way through the hell-hexed foes to unravel a dark mystery? Or will her greatest adversary ever, the one and only Satanus, claim his next sacrifice? Part two of the explosive coffin crossover event, Hell Again. Hell again. Guest starring Hell Witch, Lady Satanus, and Chaotica. And look, I, what I want to say about that one is this really is a versus story. Uh, you know, it's true if you think about the history of Lady Death and the way we set this story up, she's been off Earth for two years. And in that time, it has been unprecedented peace and posterity. We're even talking the Middle East is cooled off. So, La Muerta, a.k.a. Maria Diaz, has it in her mind that it's the presence of Lady Death alone that brings about conflict. And she is sure that if Lady Death is eliminated, peace and prosperity is coming back. And unlike the last time those two met and La Muerta took a bullet to Lady Death, this time she's prepared. That's right. So, yeah, we're playing for keeps. This is Helligeddon, folks. We're all in, so get ready. I can't promise on the outcome. Now, next up, let's talk about Lady Gunfighter. Lady Gunfighter, whoops, what am I doing? Next up, let's talk about Lady Gunfighter, Desolation. That's right, Lady Gunfighter, Chapter One, co-written by myself and Mike McLean, Mike Taken Lead, illustrated by Joel Gomez, colorist TBD, and lettered by veteran letterer Marshall, Marshall Dillon. Dillon. All right, so in this story, which I'm really excited to talk about, Eliza Ryan thought she'd never pick up a gun again. As a teenager, she was Lady Gunfire, star attraction of Winchester Willie's Traveling Wild West show. But Eliza gave up her sharpshooting ways to become a loving wife and mother. Then came that fateful night of bloodshed and fire. Ten years later, Eliza dons the Lady Gunfighter moniker once again and journeys across the ultra-violent hellscape that is the Old West. She no longer performs trick shops for adoring crowds. Now she shoots to kill. A cold-hearted bounty hunter harboring a shadowy secret. A demonic revolver rides in her gun belt, a weapon of dark power that whispers to Lady Gunfighter in an ancient, malevolent language. But will cursed bullets and sharpshooting skills be enough to stop the man responsible for destroying Eliza's family, the infamous killer, Jebediah Kane? Well, that's the question. So, Lady Gunfighter, for those of you who read Blasphemy Anthem and Tales of the Coffin Verse, you got a little peek at that character. But uh, Mike and I have actually been hard at work devising her original story, the story that kind of explains her origin and her universe. Anything else you want to say about that one? Oh, just to, to see the artwork from uh, Joel Gomez. He, he's just doing an amazing, amazing job on some of some of uh, some of the coolest artwork I've seen from Joel. So. Yeah, it's great stuff. And it, I guess you just saw some of the pages. We do the uh, Joel's doing the flashbacks in pencil and the character design. Um, we all love westerns and love the idea of doing a supernatural western, but we set our story right in post-Civil War where the future was really uncertain and if you were kind of sitting there at that time, you know, this was a lawless land. And so we're really picking out some of the more dystopian and horrific uh, elements of the time to bring our story together. Yeah, it's not just the supernatural, it's the, the horrific West as it is. The, I mean, think about it. Back then, the horrific West, there's uh, animals that would prey on you. There would be, there was leprosy, there were cannibals. And in our story, there's ancient folklore. So there's a lot for us to tap into. And the environment was super hostile. Right. Yeah, so uh, yeah, get ready for Lady Gunfighter for us to tell this tale. It'll be 
to begin with two chapters beginning in June 2024 and then uh, continuing in June 2025. So next up, I would like to go back to Helligaden and present Lady Death Eternal Sabbath. So Lady Death Eternal Sabbath, it's co-written by myself and Mike McLean, illustrated by Diego Bernard, colored by C.C. De La Cruz, and lettered by veteran letterer Marshall Dillon. We don't have any pages to show on that one yet, but don't worry, it's all planned. We're getting into it. It's amazing, uh, Diego Bernard is already quite deep into uh, chapter 19, but we'll be following up. So, let me tell you the story. It goes something like this. Burn, baby, burn! Having created a horde of cultists in hell-hexed foes, the devious Satanist tightens his grip on the world. Only one obstacle stands in the way of absolute Helligeddon, Lady Death. While angels and hellborn clash in the fiery ruins of New York, Lady Death's motley crew of anti-heroes attempts to thwart the Dark Lord's plots. But Satanus is a hard devil to trick. A trap is sprung. A shock, shocking conspiracy unfolds. A betrayal rocks Lady Death to her core, threatening those closest to her heart. No one will escape unscathed as the world burns. This is part three of the fiery coffin crossover event, Helligeddon. Guest starring La Muerta, Hell Witch, Lady Satanus, Chaotica, and the most unlikely heroine of all, Madam Midnight. I don't know, what else do we want to talk about? I mean, by then, this story, you know, three chapters in, you know, I think the settings are a fiery New York. Hollywood has been transformed into Hollywood. <laughs> what else is there to say? It's just Satanus is back. Satanus is he's back. He's bringing hell with him to, he is to Earth. He is bringing, he wants to terraform Earth into hell. I don't know. You'll have to read it. I don't know. Yeah, so um, the stakes are high, really takes all our characters, but this is one of those chapters where it's like more bad than good happening for our poor characters. So uh, yeah, the stakes are high. I, I mean, one thing that we haven't mentioned, Mike, is that characters absolutely die in this storyline. Like the stakes are high. And there are more, so although we're revealing some stuff, there are more surprises to come. So next up, let's talk about our September story. And that is Mike Morg Necromorphosis. <laughs> Mike Morg Necromorphosis. Necro, death, morphosis, transformation, death transformation, yeah. So. Co-writers on that one are Brian Plito, Mike McLean, illustrated by Jose Luis. Wait till you see these pages. Colored by TBD and lettered by veteran letterer Marshall Dillon. In fact, already lettered. Awesome. So let me tell you the story about this one. And as we do, please feast your eyes on some of the characters. Uh, in fact, let's take a look at some of the characters before we get into the story. So I want to show you some of the preliminary work that we do creatively before we get into telling a story. So first up you're going to see, this is an early image of Mike Morg himself. His real name is Mike Morgana. Up until this point we've uh, called him Mike, Mad Mike. Um, I got off of that name uh, for, for trademark and copyright reasons. Mike Morg is a little bit more unique. There are Mad Mikes in other media, so we wanted to get a clearer title. So, yeah, feast your eyes on Mike. This is his innocent self. And now, first, take a look at his anti, his villain. This is Dr. Edward Rigsdale. Uh, definitely a madman, scientifically a genius, but trying to continue this horrible uh, scientific exploration about having power over death. That's actually where our poor our poor characters kind of meet up with him. Also his beloved Rose. Don't want to say too much about Rose. Now next up, take a look at Riley. This is this poor young man is actually gonna become the one and only 
to be decided. <laughs> <laughs> and then a couple more of Mike's friends, uh, Grady, obviously. And these are, these are a bunch of guys who are friends for life, love going to concerts together, and just innocently they're on their way to uh, a metal fest. And um, uh, on their way to a metal fest. Additionally, take a look at Dr. Rigsdale's sister, Priscilla. Priscilla. More about her. There are a lot of fun things about her. We don't want to get into it. And then please feast your eyes on Autumn Carlisle. She is possibly a love interest for Mike. And then here's just a brief look at some of the uh, orderlies and some of the monsters and failed experiments of Dr. Rigsdale. Now, I'm going to read the story. And as we do, let's take a look at some of the pages by the incomparable Jose Luis. Oh my God, boys and girls. I'm not overselling it when I say this book looks incredible. Thank the comic gods for bringing Jose Luis into our life. Here's the story. 18-year-old Mike Morgana doesn't ask for much out of life. All he wants is a break from digging ditches so he can party with his buds at the Metal Fest but his rock and roll dreams quickly turn into an unfathomable nightmare. Kidnapped by the nefarious Dr. Rigsdale, Mike and his friends are taken to a torturous laboratory and subjected to unspeakable experiments. The young metalhead is driven to the brink of death only to awaken with horrific supernatural abilities. His hands become kill fists, pulsating with life-stealing power. Now, Mike faces an impossible dilemma. Kill to feed the fists or die a horrible death. Teaming up with Ratso, a teenager whose soul resides in the body of a foul-mouthed rat, Mike escapes Dr. Rigsdale's clutches, but their freedom is short-lived. Soon, they become hunted by monstrous killers and a sexy, sadistic assassin. Can Mike survive long enough to master his terrifying curse? Or will he succumb to the temptation of its murderous power? We are so excited to present Mike Morg's story to you. I guess what I just have to acknowledge that for those of you who know my work, having done that character evil, you know his name. There was an energy to that book that seems to be gone from the shelves. And I wanted to feed that energy myself. So I have imbued that energy in Mike Morg's story. But do not get it twisted. Mike Morg is a wholly separate character. He is not like that aforementioned character at all. In fact, if anything, he clearly is a, a, a guy in the wrong place at the wrong time. Actually an innocent, but he is cursed with kill fists that demand life force. Anything else you want to say about Morg? I just, I love the retro horror vibe that it has. It has a slight retro ver the vibe going into it, and the art is just speaks for itself. It's amazing. Yeah, speak, and yeah, we're only just giving you a taste of the art. Anyway, okay, Mike Morg. Mike Morg's story, initial story, will be told in two parts. The first part offered in September of 2024, and the second part offered in September of 2025. And we're already deep. Deep, deep in production on that part. All right, rounding out the known publishing schedule in October. It is Hellwitch, Lady Death, Hellgasm. Hellgasm. Remember Wargasm a couple of years? Welcome to Hellgasm. This book is co written by myself and Mike McLean, illustrated by Diego Bernard. Colored by CC De La Cruz and lettered by veteran letterer Marshall Dillon. And here's the story, yo. Hell on earth. All is lost. Flames consume the world. Humanity teeters on the brink of destruction. And Earth's champions lie broken under the heels of the terrifying Dukes of Hell. Having achieved total victory, Satanus the Conqueror sits back on his throne and smiles. But in the ruins of defeat remains one last hope. Putting aside her all-consuming rage, Hellwitch makes an unlikely pack with Hell's ultimate anti-hero, Lady Death. 
Together with their allies, they hatch a desperate scheme hoping to dethrone Satanus and defeat his demonic forces. Will their plan succeed, or will Satanus claim his final victory and rule the world now and forever? Find out in the pulse-pounding finale of the Explosive Coffin Crossover event, Helligannon! And that's guest starring La Muerta, Lady Satanus, Chaotica, and Madame Midnight. It is true. Holy mackerel. At the end of this storyline, nothing will be the same again. That that much is true. Mike's being all tight lipped. Yeah. Well, it's, it's you know, I, I think we can say this is probably, we've had a lot of big of events here at Coffin. Yes. This is the biggest. This is the biggest. I know that for Mike and I to work out the plot and the scale of it all has taken a considerable amount of time. Really to make sure, when you do a story like this, you kind of want every character to have an arc to have really critical moments and to make it satisfying. Mm -hmm. And that's really not easy because uh, there are a lot of characters in this one and we do know it's Lady Death's 30th anniversary. We want to balance it toward Lady Death, but we also want each character to have a moment. So, right. And you have to include all the action that the Coffin fans always look forward to. The, that's the right. The the sexiness, everything's in there. That's right. So, Helligeddon is our theme. Now, please take a look at the schedule did you notice something else way at the bottom? To be announced, huh? Secret project. Well, don't get me started with uh, writing these comics and putting them out because it's true. We do have a secret project and we're not announcing it yet, but I believe it's something you all would be very excited about. And when it's closer to true and real, we will announce it. So Mike, this is the Coffin Comics publishing schedule for 2024. Is there anything you want to say to the folks listening out there about this this, this publishing schedule? Well, um, it, it's obviously chock full of uh, stuff for you to read, and it's only possible because of you guys, because you've supported us all along before this, and we're bringing you this Helligeddon right to your door. Folks, it's true. And I do know it's latest 30th anniversary and it is a incumbent upon me to have the finest cover artists on earth contribute. I am not exaggerating when I tell you that I have signed some artists that have made me go, ho. Oh. So I'm not overselling it. There's a couple like, what? Uh, that are coming up. Uh, return of some phenomenal talent and uh, just, just more to come. So it is the Coffin Age of Comics. We cordially invite you to be part of this as we go into 2024, even as we embark upon writing 2025, which has a whole different feel. So on behalf of Mike McLean, I'm Brian Pluto, Coffin Comics publisher. This has been the Coffin Comics 2024 publishing schedule. Sneak peek. Tell everyone you know, everybody. Thank you so much. Swarm!